So OpenAI just released access to their AI voice assistant that you can actually use in your own applications. If you haven't seen this advanced voice mode by OpenAI, here's a quick little demo. All right, here it goes. Why don't skeletons fight each other? Because they don't have the guts. <laughs> So they are now calling this the real-time API. And what this does is this allows you to use this AI voice assistant inside of your own applications using the API. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a comprehensive demo of this inside of an application so you can see the future of how we'll interact with our own apps. Before we get started, I do wanna say this absolutely blew my mind and I think this is really gonna change the way that we interact with applications. So make sure to stick to the end of this video. All right, so I'm gonna show you this quick example first and then I'm gonna talk about why this is so impactful and how this is gonna change Way we interact with these different applications in the future. So as you can see here, I'm gonna click connect. Hello there, how's it going? Uh, it's going well, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Yes, what can I- I just had a question. What's the weather like in Bend, Oregon right now? And tell me in Fahrenheit. Right now in Bend, Oregon, it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit with a light wind. Planning anything fun? Um, actually, yeah, what's something fun to do? I want to go on a hike. That sounds awesome. In Bend, you've got some great hiking options. You could check out Tumalo Falls for a scenic trail with a stunning waterfall. Okay, thank you. Um, could you actually now tell me what the weather is like in Mallorca, Spain? But can you read it for me in Spanish? Claro, en Mallorca, España, ahora la temperatura es de aproximadamente 19,3 grados centígrados con un viento suave. Perfecto para disfrutar de la isla. Thank you very much. De nada. Could you now say that in English? Sure, you're welcome. Nice, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so this is actually interacting with an application. You can see there is a get weather function here and you can see we can go on a map and ask for the weather anywhere and it pulls that information in real time. The reason that this is so impactful is because imagine if we have an app and we add this real-time API, which is essentially the access to using the ChatGPT voice, and we could have it inside of our app and make the app way more interactive using this AI voice feature. So now I'm gonna show you an example that OpenAI gave us using this technology inside of a health app that allows you to speak with this and interact with the application using your voice. Hey Abhijit, how's it going? Going well. I'm here with Tushar, figuring out what to do for lunch. Khane bhi kya khane? All right, Abhijit. Here are some delicious and nutritious recommendations for lunch. Ria, ek baat kar yaar. Dekh abhi ek bajne wala hai aur hum log yahi pe nikalne wale hain Mission Bay ke aas pass. To kuch aur ideas batana. Bilko, Abhijit. Since you're in Mission Bay, how about exploring some local options? I personally hope to see a world where uh, we can fight obesity, celebrate healthy eating, empower and educate people to make better decisions around food and fitness. Help by the world, right? Help the world. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So this is just the beginning, but it's gonna be extremely interesting to see how people are able to build this into their applications. And I cannot wait to play around with this more. If you want more content going over new AI technology like this, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you guys in the next video.